So, here we are. A little bit of an update. Thank you, first of all, for watching the first one. And it was good to know that people could relate and that they watched it. I appreciate that. Um, so, yeah. As you can hear from a little bit from that call before I had an update with the specialist um, which works with the APC, the Red Bull Centre in Austria and uh, it was both good and confronting news uh, firstly them saying that they would have done surgery had they seen the scans straight away unfortunately just with how things were in Canada with um, initially not even getting scanned after the crash and joyride and then when I did go back in five days later, um, they seemed to think that I didn't need surgery and I didn't get a whole lot of information, so I just I flew home and at that time didn't really understand the magnitude of the break, um, which is no one's fault really, it is what it is. Um, but obviously um, scary to know that it would have, they would have recommended surgery, but you know, Again, saying that, they said it has healed correctly how it should if they have done surgery. So it's good to know that that has happened um, without surgery because spinal surgery comes with a lot of risks. So in general, I really have nothing to complain about. I mean, how can you complain about something healing? So it is what it is. I'm in a positive spot with that. Yeah, so... The plan is to go out to the Red Bull Centre, the APC, near Salzburg in about two weeks time and we're going to start the process of taking the brace off and starting to strengthen my neck as well as rescanning, making sure that everything is staying stable as we start that strengthening journey. So that'll be, uh, that'll be really good just to be surrounded by specialists you know, physios, acupuncture, just uh, everyone that you could possibly want for your health and wellness is there. And it'll also be nice to be back traveling and change it up again because it's been a while, you know, three months of not doing much. Um, I'm very excited. And it's always cool to hang out at the Red Bull Center. And we might even sneak in a little trip to visit Canyon as well. So that'll be really sick. We have obviously continued to um, work with this amazing sports psychologist over the past few weeks. So I recently came across this quote and it went something like, uh, I'm reading it right now, um, humans spend so much of their lives waiting for things to be over. Spend so much of their lives waiting for things to be over. and. I related to that one massively. I remember at the start of this journey, um, three months ago, just wanting to jump forward. I just was like, I want to be three months, six months in the in the future where this is all done, where I'm not in this neck brace. I'm riding again. I'm strong. I just want to skip forward to that part. And I think the biggest takeaway from that is that I'm at a point now where I don't feel like that. I feel like every part of the last three months was necessary and I'm at a point now where I am extremely grateful for it. I'm grateful for the healing process, the time that I've had to focus on other things um, and just really trying to to not not ever have that mindset of, of wanting to skip ahead past something difficult because I think difficult parts are obviously really important but again that is a hard thing to it's easy to say say to someone you know to say oh the struggle's good or you know that's an enjoyable part or that's you know you wouldn't have enjoyment or happiness or success without the struggle. That's an easy thing to say and it's not an easy thing to do. So I'm really stoked about where I am with that right now and I just wanted to share that one because they helped me a lot and there was a few comments both on the last YouTube post and directly to me 
talking about other people that were injured at the moment and that one was kind of for them I think let's not skip past this or wish to skip past it I think let's just enjoy it <laughs> as bad as that sounds sometimes to say enjoy it time is going to pass regardless regardless what you do with that time it's not going to stop so just keep on keep on enjoying it instead of instead of just letting it happen or zombieing through it because you can do anything with that time really uh, we've been able to get in the gym a little bit the last two weeks very limited lower body strength work just body weight lunges body weight squats um, a little bit of leg Pilates um, and I've also been able to do a very small amount of shoulder band work to rehab my shoulder because I even though we haven't done anything with that yet I can tell that there is some rotator cuff damage but obviously I haven't been able to do anything about it until now so I've been doing very very light band work with that as well as obviously continuing to strengthen my hand and my wrist from the break um, I still feel a fair bit of restriction there especially in my wrist from having the cast on that has been the hardest part is honestly getting the range of motion back there so that's a big thing going forward um, and yeah so my next update will probably be heading to the APC I kind of want to take everyone through that journey and and what goes through those three weeks which will be really exciting and uh, and yeah if you guys want to see that obviously check that out in a couple of weeks when I head over there but um, yeah thanks for watching the update and um, yeah Big shout out to everyone that just competed in Rampage. I watched all of that over the weekend um, with extreme uh, emotions. That was very sick. It was very sick to watch. I'm so proud of everyone. It was an insane thing to watch. I can't even imagine. Um, what went into it obviously that is an event that I would dream to be a part of um, obviously this year it wasn't meant to be but um, I did get to be on a FaceTime call uh, with all the girls and watch that live as well as them at the finish line which was really special for me um, and a big thing that I focused on recently was um, that I was talking to my sports psychologist about how I didn't know if I wanted to be on social media during Rampage Week. I said, you know, I want to watch it. I love seeing it all. I want to see the updates from the girls. I want to see the guys. But it hurts a lot. And I'm, I was worried that it would put me in a, an emotional state that I didn't want to be in, that I felt would be negative towards my recovery. So I said, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know if I want to be on Instagram or watch that content. And I think he reminded me first and foremost that I love the sport and that I shouldn't fight that. I shouldn't fight the love that I have for the sport because right now you can't do it. But it doesn't mean you can't watch it and be a part of it. Don't like shut yourself off from that world, the fear of, of FOMO or whatever don't fight the fact that you love this sport and you want to watch it and you want to be a part of it and even though you're not there like enjoy it watch it like be stoked about it because you are stoked about it you're just also dealing with a lot of other emotions around it so yeah that was a big one